Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 216. The proverb today is, let bygones be bygones. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone tells another person uh, to let bygones be bygones, it means that one should stop focusing on something that has happened in the past, especially something that causes stress or pain. You know, it's still comes back. It comes back. It haunts you. It still continues to cause you stress and pain, even though it happened a while ago or maybe even sometimes a very long time ago. Uh, it can also be used to tell someone to forgive and forget uh, or to let uh, go of past mistakes. Yeah, maybe the person sometimes you have to forgive is yourself, too. Uh, but anyway, this is what we mean. Uh, if somebody says, let bygones be bygones. Okay, let's continue here. The word bygone, uh, by itself, means something that happened uh, in the past that is now over. It has passed by, so it's bygone. So, basically, if you're saying let bygones be bygones, meaning let this thing that has passed, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the past, you know, from, from a long time ago, let it be over. Let it be gone. So, let bygones be bygones. Let it be something that has passed. That's kind of the idea behind the whole phrase. Okay, let's continue. Um, by the 1600s, it had already started to refer to unpleasant things uh, that had happened, such as quarrels or fights or arguments, uh, unpaid debts, etc. So in this sense, you know, that's how it's used. Um, in the 1600s, a number of famous writers, uh, such as Tennyson, Shaw, etc. often use this proverb in their writings. Okay. Um, all right, and we just have uh, three examples here of how we would have it used. Here's number one. Here's the first one. There are still many hard feelings between them. They can not just let bygones be bygones. And so sometimes we use it in the, ne in the negative, meaning that somebody just can't do it. They just can't let bygones be bygones. They can never give up on this. Or number two here, we could tell someone, stop dwelling on past regrets. You know, so, um, you should let bygones be bygones. Yeah, this, this might be yourself. Maybe something you did in the past. Sometimes, like we said, sometimes it's yourself is the one that you have to forgive or the one that you just have to let it go and move on or move on with your life. And number three here, uh, those two countries decided to let bygones be bygones and forget about the past. Conflicts, you know, maybe, you know, maybe in the past that sometime they were at war with each other or they did very terrible things to each other. But, you know, you, ho you try to hope and think that's past history now uh, and to focus on common interests now. Yeah, maybe there's still things that we could do right now that could benefit both of us. So let bygones be bygones. OK, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. Uh, hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.